Koski. Taken by Roach. Bella. 40 out from the Tigers line. Elias tries to rake it back. Six more tackles for Manley. Jones. Strongly. Iro coming from well back. Roberts may not have heard the call. Lions. Little short ball for Toomey. To the outside of Jack. Jack collars him. He got a good ball back in for O'Connor. He shows his frustration. Should have been a try. They went missing with it. He shakes his head. State Bank replay. Lyons slipped a beautiful short pass to Tuvi. Tuvi careered to the right diagonally. Dummied. Jack gets to him. He gets a pass back on the inside. It's much too hard. Much too hard. And O'Connor shows his great disappointment and frustration by banging the ball down on the ground. So here come the Manly side again in an area where they spent most of this football game around the Balmain 22. Hosking. Penalties have gone Manley's way, 6-2. to two. Jones gets to within 11 metres of the line. Now O'Donnell. Good run from the hooker. And he's got Lyons with him. Lyons gets the ball down to score. He's, now the Harrigan has asked his in-goal judge if it was OK. He said yes, and the try has been awarded. Freeman. Bad pass for Parrish. Jack was there. He's going to chip ahead for himself, but straight into Iroh's arms. <laughs> he gets a free ride. And Iroh says, about time you got off, I'm going upfield. He left Jack behind. Well, that's a great run by Iroh. He fielded the kick. Had Jack on his back for about, uh, well, seven or eight metres and then dispossessed it, Jack of him, and uh, went ahead again. Very strong, powerful stuff. Roberts will play it short of halfway. Bella. Peter Sterling, would you agree with the Balmain change around that scrum base? Yes, I think so. I think Timmy Brasher should be moved in there. They're not looking to defend now. They need eight points as Cliff Lyon puts a little chip over into space here. Lydiard was offside. Tuvey's there. I thought Lydiard was a mile offside. But Tuvey's got a try. He was inside Lyons and well and truly in front of him when he kicked it. But Tuvey's got four points that might win it. It'll take a huge effort from this Balmain side to get back into this now. Wayne Pierce has done his best to motivate his mates behind the line. Tuvey. Shaping. Over the top beautifully for O'Connor. He's got Iroh outside. Iroh's gone in. He beat Jack anyway. He'll get to the line. Jack, will he get there? No. Iroh. It's a manly try from deep in their own territory. It threatened to come unstuck, but Iroh and O'Connor worked it in the finish. And Lydiard's been given five minutes in the sin bin. He won't have time to serve it because the uh, siren has sounded. Lydiard's come back to congratulate his teammates. It's all over at the Sydney Football Stadium as far as Balmain is concerned, and it's all over for Wayne Pearce. The end of a fantastic career. But the Manly Warringah side, victorious, to live to fight another day. And Balmain hang up their boots for the year. Well, Manly's 16 points came from Lyons, Tuvi and Pyro. And Rich kicked two goals. So Manly 16 points. Balmain failure to score a point today. And uh, my own personal good wishes to Wayne Pearce in this is retirement match. And uh, what an adornment to the game he's been. We've all heard that before, but it's a fact as far as this man's concerned. He is a great human being and has been a very good footballer. Two great competitors. Gary Jack congratulating his skipper, Wayne Pearce, on his wonderful career. And Billy Anderson adds his congratulations as well. Well, Junior, as it turned out, too big an ask today, but you must have been pretty proud of the effort anyway. Yeah, our guys kept going all day. Manly's a very good side. I'm not going to take anything away from them, but uh, we're probably a little bit flat after the midweek campaign. Forces into making a few too many errors. Probably, errors, probably a bit of fatigue, but they're a good side. Uh, Cliff Lyons seemed to find touch every time he kicked the ball or find open space. Their forwards gave their backs plenty of room by rolling over the advantage line. They're a very good side. And there's no reason why they can't go all the way to the grand final from fourth spot. An emotional day for you in the fact that it is your last game. I know there are a lot of highlights, but is there anything that stands out? 
Oh, you know, I've said it before, probably the first time I ever pulled on the test jumper. You were in the same side back in uh, England, back in 82. It was, it was uh, just the most amazing feeling. And I was, that may have been rival if we won the competition, but we, uh, we never ever got to that point. Well, mate, I know on behalf of everybody involved with the sport and associated with it, we will all wish you the very best. And uh, I know you're going to have a lot of success in whatever you're doing after the, the playing days. Thanks, Tyler. Thanks, mate. All the best. Good on you.